This recording shows you how to carry out an analysis of covariance. Here the independent variable is group, and for convenience I've labeled the covariate CV and the dependent variable as DV. First you need to check that the values of the covariate do not vary over the different levels of the IV, and for that I'm going to do a, an, an ANOVA with the group variable as the fixed factor, and the covariate as the dependent variable. And this time I want a non-significant result. That's good, I have a non-significant result, 0.644 for group. So I can now proceed to do one further check, which is known as homogeneity of regression. In order to check for homogeneity of regression, I need to do a, uh, an ANOVA, this time with the dependent variable in the dependent variable box. But I need to use a different model from the standard one. And to do this, I need to do a custom model in which the individual factor and the covariate are both inserted in the right-hand side, but also the interaction term. It's the interaction term which will tell me whether the uh, regression slopes for the two groups are, in fact, the same. So I'm going to, if I click on group, press down the shift click on the second variable, I can put both variables in the right-hand side at the same time, and they will appear in the form of covariate and group interaction. I then continue and press OK. The output this time is only of interest for this term, group interaction with covariate. And I'm going to look at the significance on the right-hand side, and this is not statistically significant, which is the result I need for homogeneity of regression. I must now go back into the univariate ANOVA, revert to the original model, because the custom model that I've just inserted is not valid if you want to look for the main effects, and in particular for the effect of group on the DV. So I'm now going to run the ANCOVA, and I now see that the effect of group is significant. As a matter of interest, if I had not run an ANCOVA, if I had done an analysis of variance without that covariate, I would not have got a significant result. I'll just demonstrate that. And you'll see that the effect of group now is not significant. It's the extra power provided by using the covariate that gives me the significant results, and it demonstrates the value in this case of ANCOVA. One further point, by the way, is that in order to be of any value, the covariate must correlate with the dependent variable. We already know that it's pretty given us a significant result, so we kind of know already that the correlation must exist. But just to prove it, I will demonstrate that if you correlate the, these two variables, you get a significant result. And in fact, you see it is highly significant. The fact that the correlation is negative is neither here nor there. And that's how you do an analysis of covariance.